As he set foot in the island, Bernardo couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lepino still waiting to be rescued? No. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Did rabbits? Bernardo felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renardo never made plans that required constant yeah. vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? I have no idea if I'm going the right way or if I just missed a shitload of stuff, but I do get a feeling. How oh, about we actually go the other way? We can actually do something at the uh, table over there, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Ah, hello. Thought so. I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. And over here we have another one. Imagine that, you know, in uh, when you write a story and you know, or you know, you have to like TV or something like that. They they just walk into a uh, you know a big port, a big gate like this, and then they uh, you know what, what? Where did that add or that, that crafting bench? Renato wondered what he could make with it. What did that other way go? Let, let, let me check that first. You know, <laughs> yeah, so what? Where are you going? Oh wow. Um Not right now. I think I'll wait for that ice sword. Oh yeah. The eyes have had it. Yep. I figured that I had to do that. No? Um ah there. There we go. who had built this castle. Did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands and thousands had died. But Renato had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. Yep. <laughs> He's also the one that benefited. Benefits all parties. At least the winning one. Renato felt that all the recent fighting had taught him something new. 
but he couldn't quite put his paw on it. I've been using this one a lot, but I think this one is actually uh, better. This could be useful as well. Haven't you always wanted to do that? Ah, uh, that's the ice sword and what I want to use it for. And there we go. <laughs> no, the beat Bernardo at hot potato. Did I ask? What if because I pressed this several times or what? Just what I needed. Well, how many do I need? Like three eyes? Yeah, three eyes. No way, hold on. Many, many at least. How was it? Nope. I love how it still looks at the sword, like, does this really work? You know, like, still? Shit, hello. Eyes good, one eye dead. I figured. Taking some, getting smart, little ones. What the fuck is that anyway? Oh yeah, it makes it does damage. <laughs> I realize that. I recognize that now. Hold on, where the fuck you come from? Oh, you just out of commission for a while, eh? But oh shit! To everything, there is a season. He turned over and died. That the first time they actually say that he dies. All the other time, I, they got been some fancy little nice story there, but.
And there we go. Well then. Ah, a puzzle. Renato loved puzzles. Except when he couldn't figure them out. <laughs> On the other hand, if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from something good. It doesn't love puzzles when, unless you can solve them. Trying to grab that little stinker. Wallabies. Oh. Why did it have to be wallabies? Wallabies? What the fuck is a wallaby? I have no idea, so I can't really. I did not see that. Feel well. In fact, he felt dead. Isn't that the true story of old ghosts? Rephrase what I said last time. Come on. Shit. Shit. I should really look for another line of work, he thought. And then he died. <laughs> I should stop being a hero. Spectacularly well, thought Renato. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a gym. Hmm. Energy on killer, like that. No use how to find a workbench. That had been his mistake before. Thinking he could win a battle of wills with an ancient evil all by himself. He had to be cleverer than that. Or braver. Or... something. Or something. <laughs> it was definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. True that. Where am I now? I could walk around it, everything? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Hello. So either you do the puzzle or you fight your way through. I don't like this. There it was. Sky Ripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. 
a core that had come to rest in the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Alrighty then, let's do that one. He That's not in a hurry. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself, only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices, and he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Righto. Let's see how it works. I guess I can get another story too if you guys speed run it. Let's see, I think I start again from top to bottom. He looked up at the old trees around him. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero, and soon he'd prove it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was playing around. <laughs> First door I ever come to, locked. <laughs> right out. The waterfall was spectacular. Well, you had to enjoy these things as they came. We pass this way but once. It's a chest over there. I don't, don't think I can ever get there, but hey ho. Oh, I can. Yay. Um, thank you. Now, I can be just an off and actually go back. No. He'd once met a pirate captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. Oh, what was his name again? I can actually get back there and that bugger. Look at. Oh, Bert's down there. Hello. Righto, let's keep going, shall we? Oh, wow. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Huh? What? Hmm. Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible. Check. What else do you need in a sword? Hmm, yeah, what could... What, what could you need in a sword? And I wasn't even there. Damn it. 
Thank you. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest, the mice and rabbits. Where had they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. <laughs> yeah, no, no rabbits, no nothing. Nothing to eat and drink. Oh, jeez, hold on. Of course there was a puzzle. You couldn't expect the transcendent emperor to bury a god's eye in a leather sack where anyone could pick it up. Ah, okay. It can, it will, and it shall. These crystals, well. again Renato was dead right or actually just dead made no sense okay but go for it ah that one was still there I think What the fuck is that? And oh yeah, it makes them um, stronger, I believe it was. That sword, yes. I think it was that one. Why do I remember this? Ah. <laughs> The twenty-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah, that made him feel better. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Nah, let's go for it. Renato had never been much of a student. At Swordfu school, he'd never read the books, just looked at the pictures. <laughs> mm. And Zenobia. But weapons he understood. His gut told him that the Sky Ripper would work great. He would use it to take out the Imperial outpost. And what's the worst that could happen? The thing wouldn't work, and then he'd take it to the scientists. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this shit doesn't work. <laughs> Can you have a look at it? Yeah, about that. I like the uh, small, um, you know, when it's talking about something, and this, this little thing at the side is just uh, you, that it shows, like, hmm, you know about this in other stories. 
I remember this. From where, As though? He set out down the path. Bernardo wondered why the parts of the Sky River had only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had discarded it. This Emperor, Isengrim III, had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Perhaps that was bringing up lost artifacts. How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. You shall not pass! I'm pass if I like, so... Like this Minecraft joke, uh, where what it actually is one thing. Uh, yeah, you shall not pass. I mean, yes, bitch. I got a pickaxe. I'm gonna stop picking his way around the Gandalf character. <laughs> Just a nice little notice. Smashing things was fun. Oh yes. As long as no one there to wonder what the fuck you're doing. when there's too many different enemies that I have a little problem with it but otherwise it goes very well he was tired of slaughtering ravens maybe it was time to test out the new weapon he turned a knob on the Sky Ripper. It made strange mechanical noises. The wheel spun faster. It began to hum. The Sky Ripper was following his every step. At least it acknowledged him as the master. <laughs> but there was no trigger. How was he supposed to fire it? Fire, he said. Nothing happened. <laughs> well, maybe it just needed to warm up. After all, it hadn't been fired in thousands of years. Uh, it gotta be it. It gotta be it. It hasn't been fired for a long time. And it fucks up. Hello. What do I need? I need... Two of those and a shitload of those. Twelve to be exact. No, I can't get there. Ah, it helps me there. Hold on. Was that hit work? I feel that I'm gonna die suddenly. Day. The Sky Ripper was making a whining noise now, and its wheels were spinning so fast he could no longer see them. Bernardo had a thought. Please? He asked. The Sky Ripper began to glow. Boom! The outpost burst into flame. Ravens flapped out screaming, wings on fire. <laughs> the base was his. The Far Speaker Toad came hopping out. Bernardo! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. <laughs> Don't use the Sky Ripper! It will destroy the world! Yeah, sure it will, cracked Renato. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. 
That sounded sensible. Why did she always have to sound sensible all the time? Oh, it was infuriating. Huh. Of course, she would say that. He was supposed to hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the Council so the Rebels could actually win the war. But what if she was right? Damn it. Hmm, yippee ki -yay. I really wanna just go fuck around, but then again, hmm, I do wanna know what on to it. Maybe I can make it longer. Zenobia was so frustrating. If she couldn't get you with magic, she'd get you with reason and and, and caution and sensible arguments. Of course, <laughs> Calaveras, he might not know the latest scientific theories with evidence and all, but Renato preferred the knowledge in the old books anyway. What they said felt true. And that's what's important. You should be careful, though. She'd probably guess he'd come here. That meant she'd probably set an ambush for him. Renato landed on the island, expecting Zenobia's ambush at any moment. Oh, after all these years, she still drove him crazy. Or, unless they were part of the ambush, the obvious reasons he was meant to see to take his mind off the ones he wouldn't see. There did seem to be a lot of ravens around here. That was always a rush. I guess it is. None of what I need, but hey ho. Okay, I actually do need both of it, but. That fire might be very hot. You know what? Jeez. Where? Building these platforms was so expensive, they'd run out of budget for guardrails. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, the damage with that thing. Zenobia's ambush never materialized. Could she be sincere? Calaveras was a great scholar. Renato doubted even Zenobia could convince him to say something he didn't believe. And if he was working for the Empire, he'd never have told Renato about the Sky Ripper in the first place. Well, he would listen to the wise old toad, but that didn't mean he had to agree. That was awesome! Whoa, 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 relax! Whoa. There, now it could move. What the fuck happened there? I think we already ran into her uh, ambush. Several times as well now. At last, they had to bury him in a bucket. Actually, several buckets. Oh. Several buckets. Right. Uh. One of the things that I have to remember is that this is for the sword, and the other one is actually for moving faster. I'm keep pushing the the sword one. Word down there somewhere. Wait. 
When Ronaldo went to the china shop, for some reason the owner was always nervous. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. Come on. Shit, come on. And there we leveled up. <laughs> How far up in is this damn turn toad? Toad <laughs> different turn and toad. Why? Why did he listen to Zenobia? She was the enemy. Of course she didn't want him to use his shiny new weapon. The thing was, though, she was appallingly honest. I mean, she wouldn't lie even to an enemy. At least she'd never lied to him. So if she said he had to see Calaveras, it probably was a good idea to see him. Ugh. It was infuriating. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. What's the point of this gate? Did they think no one would notice the lever? I'm not sure. I want that one up, down, actually, but. Yeah, let's have it like that. That's, that's better. Better. Better when I'm better, but hey ho, we all have our own way of saying things. Some people say fuck you when I want to say, and instead they want to say I love you, but hey ho. Hello, to Toad. Calaveras examines the Sky Ripper eagerly. What? Oh, how often does a new relic surface? He brushed off Zenobia's warning. Oh, what a sorceress's door about physics. However, he did know a few ways to make the weapon even more precise and more powerful. Oh, shit. And quickly went off to Tinker. Soon the Sky Ripper no longer whined, but thrummed like a hummingbird taking off. It was ready for war. And so, Bernardo thanked Calaveras, and took the legendary weapon to the final battle. But where were the other rebel ships? Had something happened? He could defeat the Imperial fleet with a Sky Ripper, but he couldn't govern. He was not cut out to be Emperor, and he had no desire to be one. So it's this one again. Run into this one every time now.
Yep. We are again. There were a few rebel ships here and there, but there was no organization to the battle. Where was the council flagship? Ah, something had gone terribly wrong, but he had the Sky Ripper, and the Ravens had nowhere they could hide. Ah, come on. Oh well. Ah, there's the ships. And I can't open left. a lot of crafting materials. Now all he needed was a crafting bench. Yep. That's all I need. Yeah. Ow. It's nice to have this thing helping me out. Quite useful. Practically sure he'd find something useful in one of these things. <laughs> well, I wouldn't do it if I didn't know about it. <laughs> and I'm stuck. It's a shame you can't tell the difference on them. Bernardo wondered idly if people who had built these poles had really, really long tentacles. You never know. There we go. Back here, okay. His mother never let him wave his sword around at home. He guessed he was still compensating for that. <laughs> right. Don't swing a sword around your room, boy. Alrighty then. Oh, hello. There you are. Nato checked to make sure his sword was still working. This source still works. All right. I uh, didn't get to read that actually. Let's let's see this. <laughs> uh, oh God, that that uh, description of the <laughs> achievement I got. Oh God. <laughs> Do yes that. Something. Yeah. Maybe. Close it. Right. Anyway. The world's deadliest bone right by his side. Yeah, that sword is quite good, actually. Sword. That thing is quite good, actually. Oh, yeah. The council speaker was on the deck, bleeding. Why was she even here? They found our base! She croaked. The council. All dead. We must surrender. No, we can still win this, said Renardo. I have the Sky Ripper. 
He would be a real hero and save the day, even when all appeared to be lost. You're a good boy, said the speaker. And then she died. Oh, very kind. He's a good boy. <clears throat> Although I do feel that whatever is going, going to happen is not the best that to ever happen. I died and suddenly, holy shit. <laughs> Note to self, try not to actually engage those big ones. Oh, this is gonna take time. I bet that during the end of the day I'm gonna have at least like 10 different special enemies and we up in 5 I think shield a shielded one someone that spits fire someone that makes them stronger and one that explodes step 4 Hey what do ravens say when they die? Never mind I'll wait one spin away. Cunt. Ugh. Damn it. It is this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is that one. What if I just let it do all the damn work? Riley. What the fuck is that anyway? That thing is very helpful, but it takes a lot of uh, XP. There's another one. No? Hmm. Oh, yeah, alright. What? What? Uh. There we go. Imagine if you built a house on one of these things. Oh, that would be amazing. It would be like having a boat. Picture? Oh, it drains! How lovely! Damn it! I guess we can't attack, and we're gonna do that because I am clicking quite hefty on the um, attack button. Or oh, yeah, whatever the fuck it is. So that's the command ship. Oh yeah, I see. There's another thing in this. It's where I'm aiming at. Too. Ow! That one does a lot of damage, though. 
Well, at least I remember better. Because I opened my mouth. I wonder if there is an achievement for dying numerous times on the same spot. Okay, so I suppose I should have already gotten it. Oh, it depends if uh, they ever attack too, by the looks of it. Hi there! He fired the Sky River. With a tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. And for good measure, he played the beam around it, setting all the other nearby Imperial ships on fire too. And he watched them burn. The few remaining rebels gave a cheer, and then they stopped cheering. There was a hole in the air. Oh. A blackness, like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger. Crates were falling off ship decks, upwards into the hole. And the world itself seemed bent, like the reflection on a curved mirror as it poured into the ravenous hole. He guessed that somewhere behind that ever-widening hole were gods that had long been exiled. But it didn't really matter. Time was done for here, and soon it was. And just like that, he was alive again, and back on the Farfarer, still fleeing burning Ubar. The book was still open before him. So, the book was a portal. It took you to the future when your destinies would branch. He had failed and died three times. But he'd learned another true thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly. True. Hyperhero. <laughs> wow. And that's 59, I think. No, wait, hold on. One. I think this one was actually the best story I've seen, at least at the end. And this one, truth, Zenobia. Hmm, how do I get that truth? Oh well. In due but he time. Was starting to feel like he was getting the hang of this. There was a way through to victory. He could feel it. He just had to keep running the path of destinies. With that, the book fluttered back to the beginning, and he fell into it. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong, but he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it, 
to take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for this one again. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. Lapino's frantic message said that the Ravens were going to kill him for being a rebel spy. And that he had a clever plan. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Or so Lapino had told him over the far speaker anyway. Hmm. Right, so what are we gonna do this time? How about all the other options that we didn't do? But that will have to wait. You're gonna have Lepino this. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had had everybody fled the ravens? Hold on, hey, it wasn't what <laughs> was dropped up last time. This thing. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed. I most certainly have, and uh, see you guys next time. Farewell. <laughs>